Welcome to Hawk TV. This is Mr. Roush here to talk about GPA or grade point average. Seventh graders, when you reach junior high, you now get grades in the form of letter grades A, B, C, D, and F. Well, when we talk about grade point average, the point part is what each grade is worth. An A is worth four, a B is worth three, a C is worth two, Ds are worth one point and F's are worth zero points. If your report card had all A's on it, then you would have a 4.0 GPA. If your report card was all B's, you would have a 3.0. All C's is a 2.0, which happens to be what you need to graduate. So a C average is what we're striving for for graduation requirements. Okay. Let's talk about the grade point average then. The average is just the mathematical average. You're gonna add up all the numbers and divide by how many numbers there are. In this case, we're gonna be dividing by eight. I'll explain why. English, math, science, or social studies are classes that we attend every day. So we get basically two grades for those, right? English, if I got a C, that's for A day and B day. If I got a B in math, that's again for A day and B day. If I failed science or social studies, that would affect my GPA very strongly because that really counts as two Fs for both A day and B day. PE, on the other hand, is a class that we attend every other day. So that A is just for my A day. My elective, if I got a D, that's just for B day. Okay, let's go ahead now and replace them as we did before. C's are worth two points, so that's going to be two twos. Math, I got a B, that's going to be three points for the A day and B day. Science, I got zero. PE is worth four points, and my elective one. So adding this up, two plus three is five, and five, and five again. I got 15 points altogether. I'm going to be dividing that by the eight numbers that you see. So 15 divided by 8. This is a calculation that you can do by hand or use a calculator. The calculator result is 1.875. We're going to have to round this to the nearest hundredth. The hundredths place is right here because when it's printed on your report card, that's how it's presented. Right? It looks like money. It has dollars and cents. So when we round this, we're going to get 1.88 because of the rule five or more, add one more, four or less, let it rest. In this case, it was five, so we added one more. So 1.88 is what would appear on your report card as your GPA, but the computer will remember the 1.875 when it computes your cumulative GPA, which is our next topic. 1.88 is not very good. It's lower than a 2.0, Therefore, it does not meet graduation requirements. Okay, we're going to have to do better in the next quarter if we want to succeed. All right, on to topic two, cumulative GPA. Cumulative means so far. To accumulate things is to gather things. So these are all your grades gathered together. The cumulative GPA is an average of the averages. Okay, in quarter one, in our example, we got a 1.875. So after the first quarter, that is also our cumulative GPA. Our GPA and cumulative GPA are the same. If we improve in the second quarter and got a 2.125, then to calculate the cumulative GPA, we would add those two numbers together and divide by two and that's gonna give us a 2.0. We are now on track for graduation. In my example, in the third quarter, just to continue along, we would add these three numbers together and divide by three to get our new GPA. Notice that it keeps inching higher. And the fourth quarter, if I got a 2.75, I would then add the four numbers together and divide by four. All right, this is where it's going to become important for eighth graders. I want you all to see that here I've got my 2.3 GPA, and I'm going to call quarter five 
would be the first quarter for eighth graders who already have several grades. Now, let's suppose that the eighth grade student um, does even better, a 3.25, but how many eighth graders remember their GPA from each of the first four quarters? I'm going to guess that not many of us remember. But what we probably do know is what our cumulative GPA is so far. Our cum was a 2.3. What we can do is replace each of the first four quarters with that 2.3, and they will add up to the same amount as those individual scores that we had before. So just by knowing our cum, basically we can multiply our cum by how many quarters we've attended so far, in this case four quarters times the cum of 2.3, and then add in the, the latest quarter, add those all together, and this time we're going to divide by five because now we've attended five quarters of school. And so a 2.49 is the new cumulative GPA. Okay, I hope that helped you calculate your GPA and your cumulative GPA. Thanks for watching.